Alright, so I know a lot of people who play cost and crit when they invest a lot of money usually go for low life, but I wanted to try something different with this character, so I'm quickly gonna go over the character and why I built the way that I did. Um, I'm doing double cost for Smalice, I have the wrong enchants right now, but I don't really care about that. It is what it is, uh, nothing really too specific. In the first one I have power charge and crit support so I can generate power charges because I'm playing elementalist. If I had another way of generating power charges I would instead use awaken added cold damage 520 here as well alongside with frostbolt level 2120 and frostbomb 2020. In the other one I had awakened added cold damage support level 520 quality as well greater volley 2020 and Divergent Creeping Frost, uh, and the reason why I went with Divergent Creeping Frost is due to the fact that I've heard a lot about the shotgun potential of playing Creeping Frost, and uh, the Divergent one adds another projectile, so we have, what is it, 5 or 6 projectiles going out, the all shotgun deals massive amounts of damage, at this just spams at the bosses or the enemies. For the helmet, I have went with a Blizzard Crown, that have nearby enemies have minus 9 cold rest and some life and some resists and this one is because it adds cold damage so this amplifies all, all our damage we do on the character a pandemonious jade amulet with a divine judgment for the uh, anointment uh, this one just purely because of the damage that the cold damage and the uh, damage penetration that it gives alongside with uh, some cold rest and you know blind and all that stuff i have an opal ring here uh, because Opal Ring gives elemental damage, I also have Curse enemies with Frostbite on hit and increased effect and Cold Damage against Chilled or Frozen enemies. So this is purely because of damage, it adds quite a bit of damage. And in the right ring I have Malachi's Artifish and uh, we're gonna go over this later on. Uh, for gloves, I have Fingerless Hook Gloves with Unnerve enemies for 4 seconds on hit to add more spell damage and also have some life and resists. For the Stygian Vice, I went with cooldown recovery and damage with hits against chilled enemies and then I augmented caster uh, after I wake and orb slam the rest of the two. I augmented caster to get the spell damage doing any flask effect and then I also just crafted damage. And for boots, I have cooldown recovery and uh, tailwind. Nothing really specific other than that, the other stuff is kind of useless that I don't really care about. The armor, I have a frenzy charge gain on hit, attacks have critical strike chance and some life as well. Now, um, 
you need about 52% cooldown reduction when you play cost of crit if you have about 9.9 .9 attack speed per seconds or higher. So that is why I have the awakened costume crit, I have the cooldown reduction on the uh, boots, and I also have the cooldown reduction on belt. So I hit about 53%, so I get the threshold, so I can spam a lot of spells overall. Um, in the helmet, I have Enlighten, Hatred 20, Summon Skidabots 20, and Precision 20. Nothing really too specific. In the gloves, Arcane Surge 6, in order to uh, trigger Arcane Surge with, with Dash and Vortex. No, sorry, with Vortex. So Arcane Surge 6, Vortex, Summon Ice Golem, Bone Shield support with the Vortex. The Ice Golem is just because I use Golems because I'm a Golemancing Elementalist. In the boots, we got Dash, Righteous Fire, I use Vol, Righteous Fire for bosses, Summon Stone Golem, and Summon Flame Golem. And the last Golem that I use is the Summon Lightning Golem. And the reason why I use it with the Malachi's Artifice Unset Ring is because it triggers Elemental Equilibrium when my when my uh, lightning golem hits enemies he does lightning damage it will trigger elemental equilibrium and it will give minus 50 to cold rest so i can deal an uh, incredibly high amount of cold damage to my enemies and in the six link i have inspiration ice nova 21 awaken custom crit hypothermia cyclone and awaken cold damage support as well uh, in the belt i have fire damage spells life and damage penetrate elemental resistances the reason why I have this is because I have a Cinder Swallow urn and we ignite with the fire damage spells that we have in the uh, jewel here and that way we can deal 10% increased damage against uh, ignited enemies as well so we deal 10% more damage there. Diamond Flask for the crit because I'm not an assassin so critical strike chance is a little bit problematic. Same goes for Bold Faith, just a lot of damage and more crit and uh, then also have a Serious Promise for some damage and then just a Life Flask as well. In my skill tree, I have a Thread of Hope, Large Ring, in order to get Snow Forged, Art of Ice, Breath of Rhyme, and you can also go for Light Eater if you want to. And I also have a Frozen Trail over here for more Frostbolt, uh, for more Frostbolt, since I have a Frostbolt here. And then I have a Intuitive Leap uh, for Fervor, Herbalism, Acuity, Art Seeker, and Survivalist. Now, since I actually have this armor where I get friends to charge it on, on hit, I have gone for Frenetic and Fervor in order to increase my damage quite a bit. And then the rest is pretty standard stuff for a custom crit build. Um, I have a Watcher's Eye Jewel with Prismatic, uh, Watcher's Eye Prismatic Jewel with damage penetrates cold resistances while affected by hatred for some extra damage. And in the uh, in the um, Elementalist tree, I have Leech of the Primordial and Elemancer for all my golems, so they give me a lot of buffs and they like just respawn and can't die basically. And uh, it gives me elemental ailment immunity and just a bunch of damage, right? And, and it's really good to have. And then I have Mastermind of Discord for more damage, increased uh, you know exposure. And then I have Heart of Destruction as well for more damage. Convergence against unique enemies is so much damage, it's unbelievable. So that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching the video and remember to be an absolute legend by dropping the subscription here on YouTube or also following on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash burgerbrush and I hope that you have a fantastic night or day.